Good morning everybody. Okay, I do apologize how the garage look, look, looks looking at the moment. I am busy in the point of moving to a new home. So sorry about that, but I still have to do maintenance to do on my bike because I use it as a da daily. So let me show you. Here, brand new brakes. There's the part number. It's originally from BMW. So the rear disc brakes. It's 342-177-2284. Not necessarily it's going to be the same part as what you get in your country but I'm just going to put the camera down quickly so I can open this so open the brake so I can show it to you okay, here they are okay so you guys can see, here they are there they are, the original ones from BMW themselves there you can go. Let's put that aside. Now the other part I bought as well is my rear disc. Now there you can see it says here 1200. Yes, if you look on the box as well. Turn it around you guys can read. You see it says here 1200 GS, but it's for the 800 as well. They use basically the same discs. Now, this is how it looks. Okay, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five screws. I'm not going to use the old ones as I did purchase new ones. Now, these have to be torqued between 20 to 25 Newton meters. Now, I still have to do a conversion. I'll do that conversion a bit later when I get to that point to torque them together. As you can see, there's some Loctite. There's a really Loctite on them as well, so we don't have to add. Sorry about the bug. <laughs> That's that. And there's the new disc. Now, here's the bike I'm going to do it on. It's my GS800F 2013 model. It's got about 19,000 clocks on the kilometer of the clock. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it in the photo, in the video. It's, the oh, bike is dirty, sorry. <laughs> as you guys can see, the disc is basically very close to its limit. BMW also <laughs> And if you guys see on this side, you can see how the disc looks like as well. Okay, it's quite close. This lip here, you can see uh, it's on both sides. It's quite bad. Now, if I press me the heart of my brake, they say you hear metal to metal. So I think it's that, that lip. Okay. okay, guys, the tools I'm going to use for this. You guys maybe use different. I'm going to use a long nose plier. This ratchet, I'll explain now what this one is for. This one is to loosen the wheel. One screwdriver. I'll explain now what that hammer is for as well. A rubber hammer. My little torque wrench that I have to do the conversions on. There you go. And then my proper socket set that's specifically for BMW due to these. As you can see, these ones, uh, and these torque bits. That's the reason why I use that. Okay, but you might have to get a converter. I think I do have one somewhere in my toolbox. No, I think I do have. I think these ones are fine, if I'm mistaken. I think I'll be fine with that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what I know, I'm just going to put the camera down so you guys can see. this sorry about that legs of the dogs <laughs> okay let's start so first what I do is just loosen it I'm not gonna take it out yet <clears throat> I'm loosening it first there we go now, what I like to do is when I take them off I like to put it on the side that it's supposed to be cut off of. so on that side shut up I'm not removing it yet because I still have to remove that pin and this pin so I can remove the brakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pin off with the long nose pliers. There you go. And I put it on the side where I got it 
from. As you can see, I'm putting it down. Some people do use bowls, and some don't. Now the next step, unfortunately, I can't do one-handed. I need two hands, unfortunately. Okay, now, there's a small piece of, like a pop out of it, that I need. You explain now. It's like this. You have to put it this side. I need to hammer to pop the pin out. Let's go. There we go. It's popped out. That's the pin. Also put that side. And now I'll be able to remove the brace. But before I do that, I'm using a flat to just to open everything up. But remember, I'm not going to replace this. So if you're not going to replace this, I'm not recommending it doing it against the disc. Okay, I'm just pushing this back. There we go. Now it's easier for me to remove. You can see it's starting and it's wearing off very unevenly there. And it's starting to push. It's going to start pushing there. See guys, let me see if you can see. Look how unevenly it's wearing off. Okay. The same with the inside one. The inside one is not that bad, but it's working off and even there as well there's actually a groove in here, a very bad groove compared to the disc once this is off i'll show it okay now time to remove the axle okay you know, what i do is this one i'm using the rubber hammer so i'm going to need to this side so that damage the thread and also to make it easy put something underneath the wheel just to lift it up a little bit take the tension off the ground so if that doesn't work use not brute force but to wiggle it until you get it out like that and it will drop on the one side there we go i got it out now if you guys are wondering what is this no it's not rust i put something on here to make sure it doesn't form rust so it's easier to go in and out i explained to now at the end well come now reassemble because i'm going to redo it again and i'm just going to get a cloth i just need a cloth quickly There's my cloth. Okay, found it. Got my cloth. Okay, now what I do after that, I remove what I put on here. Just to make it again so not dirt and grime it gets attached so when I put it back, it doesn't go inside the bearings as well. Shadow. <laughs> Like I said, I take it off from the side, but on the side where I get it off. Now, I don't need the hammer, the screwdriver, or the pliers. Okay. Now, let's put it on the other side. Okay. Now, the chain is still on. So the axle is not in anymore. So, push it slightly forward until you can unhook it. Like so. And move it to the one side. Now you can move the wheel out evenly. You move it out. Just make sure the caterpillar, the caterpillar, the brake caterpillar on the other side doesn't get hooked inside your rim and scratch it. Okay, now it's off. I put it on the floor. Okay, now time to remove this. Now I have removed this before because I had a flat and the sprockets has been changed. But look there, remember? Don't lose this. This comes on the side of the chain, so make sure it's a spacer. Without that spacer, your wheel will go skew. And remember, there's one on that side as well. Okay, so now to remove that one, let's just put on the tripod. There's the other one. You see? Now this one comes on the other side. Okay, just make sure about that, otherwise, you're going to lose it. You're not going to find it, and you put it in. The wheel is not going to be straight. Now what I do, I remove this to make it easier. Okay, so I'm going to put it back on the stand so you guys can see it better. Okay. There we go. Now it doesn't come off easy. You have to wiggle it a little bit. And also, when you take it off, just be careful. There is some shock absorbers, I call it shock absorbers, 
or space is closed. It keeps the sprockets when you put it in gear that kicks on. Doesn't take away some of the uh, shock. Uh, come on, it's coming, it's coming. There we go. Now these are the things. Let me just put the rim down so that it doesn't fall. Now it's these things I'm referring to. It's these. Okay, don't lose them. Some of them might be attached like this, and some of them will be broken loose. Now there must be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now two, four, six, or eight. Where's my other one? I need and one missing. Where did you go? Did you fall off somewhere? I'm sure it's three, four. Yeah, there must be eight. So one dropped. Let me just find it quickly for you. Let's see where it is. Where did it go to? Ah, <laughs> me. It's stuck inside the hub. There you go. Take it out. There you go. Now just put it one side. Make sure your dogs don't grab it and chew on it because those things are not the cheapest. And also not easy to find. Okay. Now. So you guys can see closely. Look. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that lip. You see? I'm replacing this with the new one. So let's take it to the bench. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take it to the pot. Okay, let me just remove them quickly from the desk. Remove this, put this one side. Okay, I'm just gonna put the camera. Yes, yeah, well, let's hold on. There we go. Now time to go fetch the tools. Okay, so make it a bit longer, a bit higher of the ground for you. 